everyone and welcome back to my channel. Last season, which was winter, if you live in the southern hemisphere, um, I had a comment on one of my last videos. I wonder if it was the winter wardrobe essentials and someone commented, why are you talking about winter when it's summer? It had occurred to me that some people don't know that there are two hemispheres with opposite seasons. Uh, so if you are discovering this video, I'm from New Zealand, it's currently spring, we're going into summer, we've just had winter. <laughs> so last season, it was quite late in the season, so it will feel like it wasn't that long ago, but I did my winter wardrobe essentials. Now, I don't really follow a capsule wardrobe per se, I just find with the nature of my job that's going to be too um, restricting, but I do follow that kind of idea where I try to only um, purchase and accept gifting from brands if the pieces are of really good quality, are going to last in my wardrobe for a long time, that also fill a gap. So uh, I have a navy cotton sweater. If I was offered another navy cotton sweater from another brand, I probably wouldn't want to accept that as a gift, if that makes sense. There are some exceptions, things like t-shirts, white t-shirts, uh, that sort of thing you need quite a lot of. But generally speaking, I like to have um, a star of the show for each category in my wardrobe, if that makes sense. And I try to keep it as minimal as possible with the best quality pieces that are going to last for a really long time. So this isn't everything that I will be wearing in spring, but it is basically the base of my wardrobe. My essentials, uh, everything I need if I was going to stick to everything that I'm going to speak about today and not wear anything else for the rest of the season, I would be completely covered and happy with that. So yeah, the essentials. So let's start with linen shirts. These are the ultimate transitional wardrobe piece, probably for the spring going into autumn as well as uh, winter going into spring because you've obviously got a long sleeve shirt that you can layer with but it is linen, so it's quite a breezy fabric. So I feel like if you don't own a linen shirt, uh, but you are quite keen to invest in one, I would say go for white first because it goes with everything. Doesn't matter what you're wearing on the bottom or over the top, it's pretty much going to go with absolutely everything. So this one is from Assembly Label. I like it because it kind of has a slouchy oversized vibe. But it's not as long as some of the other uh, linen shirts I've got. I would say it's slightly oversized in the way that like the arms are a little bit longer because I kind of like this look where it's kind of going on my hand a little bit. It makes it feel a little bit more slouchy, a little bit more casual and I'm a big fan of oversized shirts and I think having a white linen one in your wardrobe is probably the perfect base to your spring wardrobe and also something that you can take into summer like and wear over a bikini if you are a big fan of linen shirts like i am and i wear them probably almost every single day in the spring nearly then you might want to grab another one in another neutral color so this one is actually from country road it's in it's beige and this one is slightly more oversized so it's a little bit longer as you can see it kind of makes me feel, especially when I'm wearing denim on the bottom, I kind of feel like I look like a painter, but I kind of like that look. Again, it's got really long sleeves, so it can look like this. I like this one from Country Road because it's got these kind of like, what do you call them? It's not like pleats or gathers, but I just think that's a really beautiful detail. And Country Road do these in every single color. This is a little bit more expensive than the assembly label one, but they do do them in lots of different colors. The white one always sells out every time it's in stock. So if you see it in Country Road, then I would recommend getting it. But um, yeah, I have this in a size 10. I'll leave the sizes this time around down below um, with the links of everything that I'm wearing. I just think linen shirts are amazing. They go with everything. They're so comfortable. You can layer them with a jacket. You can wear them with shorts. You can wear them uh, with jeans. But I do think that the Country Road one is a bit softer and a little bit more drapier and flowy than the assembly label white one. And I also have one in blue. <laughs> this is actually from last summer. It's from Ruby uh, and I just adore the shade of blue. Sometimes I like a pop of colour 
And the shade of blue is one of my favorites. Um, I think it makes gold jewelry pop like nothing else does. I'll kind of show you this up close. I just think um, this color makes gold look amazing. And I also find that this color of blue makes you look really tanned. So this is one of my go-tos for throwing over bikinis. And yeah, sometimes it's just a nice change to wear a color that's a little bit different. So my next wardrobe must have is a super oversized white t-shirt. This one, um, I believe, is made from it's made from 55% hemp and 45% organic cotton. Uh, it's from St. Agni, one of my favorite Australian brands. And it is a proper oversized t-shirt, but it's very, very um, quite thin and loose. And it looks really good tucked into jeans. Um, I just think a white t-shirt uh, is so essential because it just keeps your outfits looking really fresh. And then pairing it with jewelry um, keeps it looking really chic. I mean, a white oversized t-shirt with a pair of really good denim jeans is always going to be a classic look and a go-to spring outfit of mine for sure. So I think one of the best things you can do for spring is kind of mix winter fabrics with spring summer shapes. So this is a perfect example. This is from Mal and it is 70% cotton and 30% merino. I always really struggle to find the perfect shape of singlet that's really flattering for my body type. I've got small boobs and actually quite broad shoulders for my overall body proportion. Um, I tried this on in store and it was just like, I felt like I'd found the perfect singlet. Um, what I will say though is that it attracts a lot of dust. And every time I roll it, I feel like because there's merino in it, it's kind of pulling the fabric a bit. Um, so ugh, I don't know if I've made a very good investment with this one, um, but I'm still going to mention it anyway. And that's probably good feedback for you guys anyway, if you do love shopping mall and you have been looking at the singlet because it is quite expensive. Apart from that, I love it. Um, a black singlet is perfect because you could pair it with your oversized linen shirt so you could wear an outfit like this with denim um, and just like let that sort of hang um, if it's a little bit chilly you could keep this in your handbag and throw it over the top um, but yeah I'm just a massive fan of the shape of the shoulder straps and how it goes down I think because there is merino in it it gives it a little bit more um, I don't know how to explain it it's not as flimsy like it's kind of body hugging so I feel like I don't have to wear a bra and I quite um, like that look. I love not wearing a bra. And yeah, I just think a good black singlet is an amazing layering piece, but you could find one of these anywhere. You kind of just have to look for one that fits your body shape and makes you feel really nice and confident. Something that you just feel really nice and flattering in. I'll keep you updated on how I feel about this in, in terms of having to use the lint roller all the time because I do feel like every time I use it, I'm destroying the fabric. So another thing to think about when it comes to investing in pieces that are transitional, that you know you're going to get a lot of wear out of, I think a lot of it is thinking about fabrics. And for me, for example, today is quite a chilly mid-spring day. I've been wearing this jumper and it is a knit. But it's not the kind of knit I would be wearing in winter, which potentially would be a wool or a cashmere. This is a cotton knit. And these are great because... They keep you warm, they've got a little bit of weight to them, but they are also um, very forgiving if it gets a little bit warm. So these are also great for like, you know those moments throughout the summer where you're wearing a dress or a singer and then all of a sudden uh, the sun's gone and it gets a bit chilly or you are having, I don't know, a picnic in the park and it's nice and warm, um, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, then 6, 7 o'clock comes along and you're like, oh, I feel a little bit chilly. This is the perfect knit to bring out and layer on top of whatever else you are wearing because it's cotton. Something like wool or cashmere is going to be too warm. This is from Koto. It's very much like a fisherman's jersey kind of style. I'm obsessed with navy at the moment. Navy and white. These two together 
is my absolute obsession. I love Koto because they are a New Zealand brand. They're a local brand. I also just want to show you like how perfect this is as a transitional piece because as you can see it is quite thin um, and holy and yeah it's not going to be something that's, that you're going to be too hot wearing if things did warm up a little bit but it is perfect for days like this where I would just be way too hot wearing any of my winter clothes. Um, so yeah this is perfect and I love layering jumpers over um, oversized shirts at the moment. I just have been obsessed with that look. These out. Pull the collar out. It's a very um, preppy kind of look, but I love it. So, yeah, on a chilly day in spring, this is like the perfect layered outfit. I love how the collar sits, how you also have the shirt kind of peeking out at the bottom. I think it's also a bit of a nice touch. Um, with the cuffs just sort of sticking out. I love that Koto is like a 100% ethical and sustainable brand. They also do this knit in green, which I'm also a big fan of. But speaking of green knitwear, I also have this absolutely beautiful Koto cotton knit. Now, this is lovely because, again, it's the same thing where it's still knitwear, but it's cotton. And it's just something different to wear when you are bored of wearing a linen shirt and it's too cold for a singlet so something that's a little bit heavy um, and that is still a good knitwear piece is perfect. I also want to give an honourable mention to the knitted vest which is very very on trend at the moment. I've been seeing girls wear it um, in the northern hemisphere as a uh, summer to autumn transitional piece where people have been layering that with their um, white shirts underneath poking out of um, a very like large chunky oversized vest and I really love that look I just haven't found one that I love but yeah this is really nice because it has the wide um, sleeve I love that it's quite ribbed um, it's really interesting because it has the stripes going this way and then this way and they also style it so that if it was getting a little bit hot in the afternoon you can kind of turn it into a knit sort of t-shirt by folding the sleeves like this um, and this comes in a whole heap of colors they do this in the navy that I just showed you before I think there might be an orange and like a yellow color really nice uh, shades for spring but I just love a bit of green and yeah it's got kind of an interesting neckline it's kind of like a boat neckline which I love but oh, how beautiful is this color I am just completely obsessed with it and this also looks really nice with shorts um, and you can kind of like tuck it in at the front that way I'll be able to wear this um, a little bit more going into summer. I am just completely obsessed with this. It's so beautiful. So next up let's talk about pants. Um, I think it just goes without saying that denim jeans are an absolute essential. These are my gold Riley high rise jeans. They need to go in the wash because they are getting a little bit loose for me. Uh, the day that I got these I couldn't even sit down on them and they've stretched out so much. Yeah I think jeans just go without saying but I recently invested in a pair of trousers because it's nice to wear something that's not jeans but it's still going to be uh, perfect for this transitional time of year because these are a cotton linen blend that means they are perfect. So these are from St. Agni. They are high-waisted with a wide leg. I love the colour. It's, it's kind of like a mix between camel and khaki. I'm not really sure what the colour is coming up like on camera. I love that they have belt loops in case I wanted to style them with a belt. They have a really gorgeous sort of tortoise shell button and they just have the most beautiful sturdy fabric. These look great when you want to look a little bit smarter. Something that's a little bit nicer than wearing jeans. They fit me really well. They're super comfortable. Normally with pants, um, I really struggle because I'm short. But these were super cropped on the model. So I figured that they would be pretty much full length um, 
on me and yeah I just love them I'm really happy with this investment this color doesn't pick up any fluff or dust which I am very happy about because I was looking at getting the black pair but I just thought it'd be nice to have something that's a little bit more different I don't really have anything this particular color in my wardrobe and yeah they're great they go with my black singlet they go with my white t-shirts they go with my white linen shirt the idea is that my wardrobe is meant to kind of work in the way that i can mix and match absolutely everything i also just want to give a quick mention to my ruby corvettes i love these these are also something that i go for when i want to wear something a little bit different to jeans but it might be a little bit hot that day very breezy they are the same kind of wide leg but they are a little bit more flowy they look really good with sneakers linen shirts singlets um yeah the green is also a nice injection of colour into my wardrobe and they're high waisted, they are amazing, they come in like a ton of different colours. If you go onto the Ruby website you will find them in so many different colours and yeah the quality is beautiful and I just think they're quite fun. My style has become very very um, minimal colour palette traditional sort of shapes and styles and yeah it's just nice to wear something a little bit more fun sometimes. I also love that they've got the racer straps um down the side as well something else that is amazing for taking from spring into summer and it's another one of those pieces that you can just sort of throw on over the top of a dress or literally any outfit and feel like you're a little bit warmer a linen blazer so this is really old from ruby it's about two summers old and i just had it dry clean but it has um gold buttons and it's kind of a pinstripe there you go you can see a little bit better it's kind of like a pinstripe beige and cream and it's got gold on the cuffs I'll pop it on for you guys and this is also something i think just due to the color it will go with everything i can layer it over any pair of jeans any white t-shirt um it's also quite smart but it's linen so it also kind of has that casual look you could totally wear this over a nice flowy dress and sandals and pop off for lunch somewhere but equally you could totally get away with wearing these for work during the summer linen is amazing i probably would prefer something a little bit more oversized these days but i love this blazer and i feel like it's going to stay in my wardrobe forever it's a bit chilly so i've just popped on my koto navy um knit back on and i'm only going to talk about one pair of shoes today which is the canvas sneaker uh i love leather sneakers in the winter spring summer it's all about the canvas your feet aren't going to get anywhere near as sweaty and i just think they do give a little bit more of a spring summer look just with the nature of the canvas you guys know i'm a big fan of beja they are a 100 percent sustainable sneaker they have three pairs on rotation and i absolutely love them i haven't worn any other brand of sneaker this year actually i'm like all in with beja and these are the nova sneakers i actually got these from the koto store in newmarket hype dc also stocks them so i just did a sponsorship with them on instagram uh wearing one of my other pairs of Vages. Um, they've got a good selection. You could also check out, I think Father Rabbit has them as well. But there are heaps of New Zealand stockists um, that stock the brand. But yeah, they're a French brand. These are the Nova Canvas sneakers. Uh, very, very reminiscent of the low cut Chuck Taylors. Uh, but then they obviously have the V, the Vasia V on the side. And yeah, they're just, they are so comfortable. My V12s took forever to break in. These have no break-in time at all, which is amazing. I'm not going to talk about handbags today because I feel like I'm still wearing the same handbags I was in winter. And you can go and watch the Winter Wardrobe Essential video to see what handbags I currently have on rotation. But something that I do, but something that is really key for me in the spring, um, especially when you're wearing quite plain, flowy outfits, it's just adding a really nice, chunky kind of statement pair of glasses now these are from Versace I am obsessed with these you could wear the plainest outfit and the minute you put these on you look 20 million times cooler so they have kind of like a tortoise shell pattern on them I don't know if you can see you can kind of see it there um, they're tortoise shell they have really nice dark lenses and they're kind of like a squared off cat eye I have talked about these a couple of times in the vlog so I'm just gonna be really quick I just much they keep my outfits looking really interesting i love the gold um versace v on the side 
they are just honestly a beautiful pair of sunglasses okay so that is everything that i deem important when it comes to springtime give the video a thumbs up uh if you enjoyed this and then i would definitely get one up for summer in december as well thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one